like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today I am making a gift for my little sis and her pretty, pretty princess and let me show you what it is really quickly. So, it is a milestone baby blanket that I designed inside of Canva and I sublimated on. And I also have a customized puzzle. All right, so I'm so excited to show you this. This one is near and dear to my heart because it's for my little sissy and my little niece. So I'm so excited to show you how I created this in Canva and then made it. So let's just jump right into the video. Let go. So as you see, I'm just unboxing this for the first time, not unboxing, taking it out of the package for the first time, making sure that it's clean. Oh, and I did want to let you know where I purchased this from. I got it from Etsy Craft Blanks RTS. It is currently sold out, but that is where I purchased this from. You can check out Etsy to see if you have more. This is actually a polyester cotton blend with 65% poly, 35% cotton, sublimation, baby, milestone blanket, and RTS means ready to ship. <laughs> Now I'm just measuring where I'm going to be putting my images and this is where I'm going to be putting uh, some sunflowers and kind of like an L shape It's going to be in the corner. So I'm literally just measuring everything. I want to make sure that things are the right size. Measuring is extremely important when you are designing, when you are making items, especially if you are selling them. You want to make sure that you are measuring, you know exactly how the width, the height, where the placement, where it's going to go. These are huge things when you design. Now that I have my measurements, let's go ahead and design our images in Canva. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and design the blanket. So I had to find the right sunflower. You guys know I love sunflowers, but I have to find the right one. Okay, so in elements, you can search sunflowers and you can figure whatever ones you like. I found these and I want to play around with it. These are the two sunflowers that I chose to do the L like in the corner of the blanket and then just so you know which I believe I told you this before when you want to see or find something similar to something that you like you click those three dots at the top so it says illustration of sunflower it gives you who created it whether or not it's free or if you have to purchase it depending on if you have regular canva or canva pro you guys know i have canva pro so this is free for me these are the words that people you um these are the words that describe the item and then these are the words that you can use to search for it you can star things report them add them to a folder or see more like this see then it gives you more options okay so these are the ones that i chose to use and the only thing i did was duplicate it several different times and then i layered them together okay All right, and then you see this looks like an L. I'll put this to the front. Okay, so that was in the front. And that's, well actually it's up just a little bit. All right, I think I put three on there. I think it's one extra. Yep. So that's what I use to put the corner of the blanket. All right. So I created that. I'm just going to delete that one. Then I love this flower. So I kept that one. 
And then what I did was I used a Ramo. And then this is a brown color here that I used for her work, her name. I did not choose black. And then I just put two of the sunflower bundles on the edge of her name. And then for this cute bunny, what I did was I found that bunny because she's just so cute and sophisticated. And then what I did was I grabbed that flower, pasted it on there. And this is how I created the designs. So I'm going to meet you inside of Silhouette Studio so you can see the sizes that I use for this particular project. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so meet me inside of Silhouette. Okay, so inside of Silhouette, I uploaded two of the bunnies, one being 6.889 inches by 6.889, and then this one being 8.756 inches in width and height. And I'm going to use this for the puzzle that you will see later. And then, and I originally just made it smaller, then it ended up working out. <laughs> I made an extra one and it ended up working out. Anywho, so then this is what I'm going to put in the bottom corner of the Milestone Babies blanket, okay? I think this is so adorable. So as far as her name, I made sure that it was 2.712 inches in height and 14.349 inches in width. And remember, I made sure that I measured everything so I knew how it will turn out, how it will work. And then this flower L or corner is 10 by 10. And then I just have some extra little sunflowers at 1.69 by 1.681. And I'm going to actually put them on my puzzle. I didn't find anywhere on the blanket, but I can use these for different things later. So these are the sizes of the images that I created inside of Canva and yeah, I absolutely love it. So now you could go ahead and meet me at my desk so we could print these out and then we can sublimate this onto the blanket as well as the puzzle. Okay, so yep, these are the sizes. Uh, also, I do have Silhouette Business Edition because I want to print larger than other print and cut options. Okay, so yep, let's go ahead and meet me at my desk like I said. So now we went ahead and printed everything out. You guys know I have the Epson Workforce 7720 and I'm using a sub paper and all I did was trim all around all of the images to get them as close as possible so that I can go ahead and tape them onto the blanket as well as the puzzle okay so now i'm just getting everything all set remember i measured this earlier so now we see our measurements were great we did swap out that small name to put onto the puzzle and i printed out a larger name for the actual blanket and you see how much that fills it in that's that 14 inches and the two something inches in height so those are the measurements i use for that and y'all know i love my tape we gotta tape it down Okay, y'all, so I have it on 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I have it taped down. I hope everything works out well. It's not long enough to put the whole thing on here. So I have it there. And I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. And just because I want to make sure everything gets really, really hot. Just because I want to make sure everything is really, really hot, I'm going to put this over it, okay? And we're going to do it for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I hope everything is aligned right. I had to move it, so I don't know, but we're going to see. All right, y'all, so I'm going to lift it up. I'm so nervous because I don't want to mess this up for them. So... Okay, a little bit of dust. I can't stand that dust. So I am going to lift this up first, just because I'm so nervous about it. Where are my heat gloves? You know, when you give somebody something, you want it to look nice, you want it to be good. Ooh, okay, because I was worried about this side over here. But okay. 
and remember this is brown is not black okay all right it did good i love these sunflower colors and the weather's starting to break yes come through okay so that part look good her name looks straight because those are the things you worry about the colors look good Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. So I just slid it on over here. Just slide it on over. And then make sure that part is done. All right. And we're going to cover it up. Protect it. But I'm going to slide it down. So that only the part I want pressed is really going to be kind of under the heat press. Okay, 400 degrees for another 60 seconds. Alright. See how this will turn down. Alright. So pretty. I'm going to bring y'all in in a minute because I know y'all kind of far away. But I'm going to bring y'all in at the end so y'all can see the whole thing. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Okay, cool. Now we just got the bottom part with the bunny. So let's get this last part out. See, that's the good thing about sublimation. Once you do it, you good. Once you got it in there, you are good. This is some good little material here. All right. Now, her nickname is Bunny, so we got some pretty sunflowers and a bunny. We're going to put this down at the bottom. Then it's okay if her body covers this. It's okay. It's just a little design in the corner. Okay. Make sure you grab new butcher paper every time you're doing it for the top because you don't want anything to ghost on top of your image after you did all of that work, right? Then you get to the end and it ghosts. So you want to make sure you're getting new butcher paper. So make sure just that bunny ears down. I'm just making sure all the key components are down, okay? All right, just let it sit for a second so it could penetrate in there. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. And look at that ink release. So pretty. So I'm gonna bring y'all in in a second. Okay, so since I had some extras, I decided to go ahead and give her a puzzle too. Of course, she'll be able to do this once she gets older, but we are going to use this puzzle. It's going to be, it's like a white glitter puzzle. And it's cardboard on the back. I think I'm gonna take that off. Maybe I'll keep it. It's just cardboard. All right. So what we're going to do for this. Can I, okay, y'all can see me. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do with this is. Make sure her name is on there. That's going to be on the top of the puzzle. So we just gonna put that on top of the puzzle, but we gotta make sure it's straight. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take that down. 
I want to make sure it wasn't like a plastic film over this. So our name is tape down. Then we're gonna put the bunny. I'm trying to see how I want to do this. Okay, we're gonna put the bunny down. All right, y'all. We about to see if it's the right amount of time and temperature. <gasps> Ooh, we. Ooh, oh my god, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, wait till y'all see this. O M G, this is so cute. Oh, I gotta bring y'all in. Oh my goodness, hold up. Oh my goodness, look at these colors. Look how vibrant that yellow and orange and brown and green is, y'all. This is popping. I hope you guys like it, but I love the results like this. So I did want to mention that the actual blanket right here is only 65% polyester so it looks really great to be a 65-35 blend. It isn't popping as the puzzle but that's also a white glitter full polyester. Just imagine if it was 100% polyester how it would be popping. So you have to be aware of the amount of polyester when you're sublimating so that's amazing there but this turned out so cute look at it i absolutely love it it turned out actually better than i expected and i hope that they really really like it because i love this and they can definitely use that puzzle as a keepsake i love it yes you guys look how these colors pop i don't want to make it fall but this y'all look at it it is amazing i absolutely love it and i love the bunny i love her name i love the sunflowers i love everything so there are a few tips just some quick tips that i want to share with you for one thing you definitely like i talked about the importance of measuring making sure everything is all set making sure everything fits right i think i did a really good job with that so i'm very proud of that just make sure that you measured everything. Everything is in the right spots. And you guys will be a-okay. Lint roller always on deck. Make sure. Because those lint specs, I don't know where they come from. So, yeah, y'all. But that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. Follow me on TikTok, Do Dream On is the handle. Instagram, Do Dream On is the handle. Like my Facebook page, Do Dream On. Make sure you join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer, if you have not already. We love it over there. Anywho, you guys, I hope you liked it. If you guys have any ideas of some videos you guys would be really interested in, let me know. But I will be having a graduation. So we'll be having a graduation series coming out soon. Be doing more embroidery and all types of things. So. I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.